Hello everyone. In this video, we will see discrete time LTA system and its output expression. So, as far as the part of discrete time LTA system is considered, here the input and output both will be in discrete form. So, if I consider the input as x of n, the output we will get y of n. And as we have discussed, for every LTI system, the most important point will be its impulse response. और उसको obtain करने के लिए हम input signal को del n consider करेंगे, तो y of n हो जाएगा हमारा h of n. It is impulse response. इसको हम कहते हैं impulse response of the system. तो इसके भी आपको अब हम define करेंगे output expression. इसके लिए हम यहाँ पर सबसे बले तो लिखेंगे input to the LTI system is input to the LTI system is it's nothing but x of n is equal to a impulse function as del of n ये तो हम इट होता है और based on that we'll get the output as output of the LTI system is आउटपुट है y of n which is h of n जो हमें मिला है by performing transformation on x of n which is nothing but transformation of del of n x of n is nothing but r del of n t stands for the transformation अब हम चलते हैं the same property which we use for continuous time LTI system so according to shifting property We can represent the input signal, which is x of n, as the shifted version and linear combination. So, this will be summation from minus to plus infinity. Original signal x of k into its shifted version, del of n minus k. In this form, we can represent any signal. Now, if this is the input, we will determine the output y of n. So, we can write as y of n is equal to this point transformation of x of n तो हम लिख सकते है y of n is equal to transformation यह summation x of n into del of n minus k अब यह जो transformation है वह हम असाइन करेंगे del function को यानि impulse function को तो यह हो जाएगा summation x of n transformation of del of n minus k now according to the definition of impulse response जो हमने देखा था h of n is nothing but what transformation of del of n अब अगर del of n को हम किसी भी नीचे shift करेंगे तो वही response हमें मिलेगा h of n के लिए तो इसके भी आप पे the expression we will get will be y of n is equal to summation x of n into y milega h of n minus k. The reason is transformation of del of n minus k it will be equal to h of n minus k. So, this will be our output expression of discrete time LTI system. इसको हम कह सकते हैं as convolution sum अब ये sum है because we are summing all the terms हम इन्हें summation लिया तो इसे हम कह सकते हैं convolution sum और इसे हम represent करते हैं y of n as first function x of n ये convolution का sign into second function as h of n so this will be the convolution formula for discrete time LTA system. So in this way, you can go for discrete time LTA system. And in earlier video, we have seen continuous time LTA system. So I hope you understood how to determine expressions of discrete time LTA system as well as continuous time LTA systems. Thank you.